All right, there is the slave cylinder in position. Do make sure you get the pin in the clutch fork. And uh, one way I discovered that this worked best was to just loosen the banjo bolt, not take it out, and then undo the two main bolts. Uh, my reasoning behind this was it was easier to undo the banjo bolt whilst this slave cylinder was actually held in position. Then once that was loose, then I undid the two bolts, swung it out, and then with my fingers could undo the banjo bolt. And do the same thing on the reverse to put it back. Next is to replace the master cylinder, and that will be fun. Um, and once I've replaced the master cylinder, then we are going to bleed the clutch. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, let's move up here a second. Just you can. Whoops! Sorry about that. Got me. Oh, I got me light caught. Oh gosh, damn! There's nothing worse than getting your light caught. Well, getting your dick caught in your flies is worse. All right, so this is the master cylinder here. I've sprayed the uh, connection with uh, PB Blaster. And uh, hopefully you can see in there that master cylinder, that is black. And what that tells you when you see that kind of fluid is that the seals are breaking up. So that's why I didn't even bother wasting time with the seal kit. Yes, you could do it, but it's really not worth the effort for what these damn things cost. Just replace the whole unit, which is exactly what I'm going to do for this customer. All right, next is to get that out of there. That may take me a few minutes. I'll see if I can film it. But first thing to do is to disconnect that um, pipe and I think it is a 10 millimeter and you should really use a special uh, wrench on that and let me take you to show you that wrench this is the special wrench uh, I believe it's called a flare nut wrench and uh, this end is the 10 millimeter and we will see how good it is and also one thing that's an advantage is that it moves at all funny angles but it grips the nut on at least uh, five of the six sides um, and that's where the hexagon is hey there's your education for the day hexagon is six sides octagon is eight sides so there you go and here yet another stupid design I am trying to get this clutch master cylinder out I'm having a struggle with the pipe and there is one of the nuts I need to get off and there is the other one way down there tucked in a corner behind everything not quite sure yet how I'm going to get to that these people really do need the rough end of a pineapple shoving up their ass this is just stupid pathetic and poor design not only is it bad for the likes of a mechanic like me but what about the poor bastards who work for Nissan as well you know you're not only screwing the home mechanic you're screwing the guys in the dealership but of course as I've said before that's how the job takes so long that way they can charge 20 hours at 150 dollars an hour just to change a fucking master cylinder hope you burn away you bastards well i can see nothing for it what i'm gonna have to do is take this out of the way at least then i will be able to get my hand down there and swing a wrench a little bit better of course they can't make this easily removable. You have to take the wheel off to get this out. Because they've put blind studs through into the wheel arch. They couldn't do it any other way, of course. That would have been too simple. So, I'm going to take the wheel off. Hopefully then I'll be able to remove this and uh, just get it out of the way. 
can't think it's going to be that difficult. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, let's get this thing out of the way. Get the car up in the air and get the wheel off. And if that doesn't work and give me any more uh, room, I'll let you know. All right, these are the two bolts in the wheel arch that you have to get to. You might be able to get to them purely by turning the wheel. Um, I've got it on my ramp, so it's easy to just take the wheel off. So let's see how this goes. All right, let us see. Well, it's a heavy little beastie. I'm not stopping me from moving it now. There appears to be a connection there somewhere. <coughs> Get to a different angle. Let's see if I can find out what's holding it. That thing there, by the looks of it, they're vacuum lines. All right, let's have a look. Sorry, guys, you're upside down. All right. Disconnect this wire, which I hadn't done. That was giving me grief. Get that out of the way. Then this unit comes up out of the way and you can just put it over there. And now there's more room. Excuse me. More room for me to first of all undo the brake line or the, the clutch line. And then secondly, I should be able to get something on that nut down there. Once that's done. Um, well, actually, no, once I'm sure I've, uh, I can loosen those, then I'm going to go inside the car and disconnect the rod, then take these two nuts off and then pull this master cylinder out of the way. Sorry about the puffing and panting here. <laughs> it took a bit of strain to get stuff out of the way. All right. Let us... Uh, Get that line off and then get these nuts off. Back in a moment. Well, hopefully you can see this. Um, I can't see again what the camera's seeing. Um, but we have to disconnect that uh, cotter pin, pull that out, pull the pin out, and then I shall be able to disconnect the clutch master cylinder. Um, I can't film me doing it purely because I'm going to be doing it blind and I need both my hands. So uh, let's see, let's see at least if I can get the pin out. Alright this is the pin and the uh, cotter removed and if we look up here you can see it is now there okay All right now I can finish off um, bolting in the uh, engine compartment and get it out of the way all right both the <coughs> nuts are now off the pin is out inside there he is I should just be able to pull this out but of course as you can see there's things in the way let's see she is yeah it doesn't look like there was an easy way of getting that out um, as you can see in there all that black sludge that means all the seals in here have broken up they're not doing their job and the customer was complaining <coughs> that in the morning when he comes out to the car um, he has to pump the pedal and then quite often the pedal stays down 
so he has to hook his foot underneath it and pull it up uh, which is another indication that these seals have gone so they're never worth rebuilding these kind of things um, unless it's you know an original and it's a classic car these just junk them put a new one in all right that is the end now um, one little footnote when I was taking these nuts off down here I used this tool that you see in my hand it's got a magnet on the end of it so that I didn't drop the nuts when I go to put it back on now well, that's gonna be fun and also uh, one other thing for you guys to note when you're putting the um, brake line back in here don't start it with a wrench do it with your fingers make sure you're not crossing the threads otherwise you're in for a whole new headache and believe me i will be very careful when i'm doing this all right that's it now uh i just got to put everything back together and bleed the clutch i need to show you how to do that that's that's easy um yeah, crack the bleed nipple, pump the pedal, lock the bleed nipple. More often than not, what you can do with this uh, design is just do what's called a gravity bleed. In other words, you just fill this reservoir up, crack open the bleed nipple, and just let it bleed through, making sure you keep this topped up. And do make sure you use the correct fluid for this particular vehicle. Um, I'm not sure what it is on this one. It's probably .3.4. I'm just trying to see if that cap tells me, the brake cap tells me. Uh, use only dot three. Okay. So there you go. That's it, guys. I uh, hope this was of help to you. Um, if it was, great. Um, if it wasn't, sorry. Uh, please uh, do subscribe to my channel. Um, you don't have to. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not getting any money for it. I'm just doing this for, for my own enjoyment and perhaps to, to help you guys a little. So uh, hopefully that is uh, something that you found of interest. As I always say, uh, like and subscribe and ding the bell. That way, next time I put another video out there, um, you'll be able to uh, be notified. It may not be on a Nissan. In fact, I could probably guarantee it won't be a Nissan. I think the next one I'm going to be doing is... Uh, a Ford Exploder um, and what have I got to do on that one? Oh, he's got a coolant leak and the window regulator so that'll be something uh, different and then I have to do a coolant and oil change on a Honda Civic that's pretty basic stuff but uh, I, I might just do a short video for you alright guys, girls love you all keep uh, crazy in this odd time that we are living in and one thing I would like to say which uh, is relevant at the moment and in a few years time it won't be and that is to do with the uh, killing of uh, George Floyd that is totally wrong but people when you go out and you riot and you loot you lose all my sympathy and everybody else's I'm sure the family that uh, lost George are ashamed of what the rioters are doing but unfortunately there always are these opportunists sorry off my soapbox now back to more pleasant things let's go get some nuts right just about to wrap this up now um, fill up the clutch uh, uh, system with fluid but I wanted to show you this little beast here I've mentioned it in other videos but of course you may not be watching them this is um, works on, on on air from your compressor so if you don't have a compressor this is going to be no interest to you whatsoever I think I got this either on Amazon or eBay and cost me around hundred and thirty dollars it is a brilliant jack okay yes I'm using it on my ramp but you know you can put it on the floor it doesn't matter and it is so quick and simple to use uh, let me demonstrate it coming down and then I'll demonstrate it going up but first I must put that wheel on alright first let me demonstrate it going up 
Now, uh, just to let you know, I am actually on the jacking point for these type of jacks that uh, go on the, the rocker panel there. So, uh, you know, it's not going to cause any damage. And there is a valve here, and you just pull the valve. And your car is up. Done. You do your work. Whether or not you've got your airline connected doesn't matter. Pull the other valve. And down she comes. That quick, that simple, that easy. And then take it away and put it in your closet. Actually, no, put it on the dining room table. Show the wife how proud you are of your jack. And she'll probably tell you the jack off. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Just thought uh, you may find that of interest. As previously mentioned, I'm doing a gravity bleed. Let's see if it works. There's the bleed nipple, which I've cracked. The reservoir over there is full of fluid. So what I'm going to now do is loosen off this hand in there. There we go, that's loose. And let the fluid just drip out. It's going to take a while. So I'm, and I'm not worried about that. Uh, I might go and give the pedal a push in a minute once the levels drop down a bit. I just want to get some fluid to come through here. And once that does, then that level will drop over there. And then we'll see what kind of a pedal we have. Uh, if that doesn't work, I've got a lovely uh, suction system which fits onto my compressor and sucks the fluid through. Um, one thing I haven't done, which I, I do normally do, and I must admit I forgot to do it this time, and that is on the bleed valve itself, just put a quick wrap of Teflon tape. This helps prevent any air being sucked back in around those threads, because obviously once you loosen it they're not uh, sealing properly, and the Teflon tape trick does work, I've done it on bikes, cars, all sorts. Um, it's a great little trick to do. So do bear that one in mind. Uh, you really should do that before you do what I, where I am at the moment. Um, and what I may have to do is just pull that valve out, uh, let the fluid flow where it flows, and then take it from there. As you can see, hopefully you can see, it's running down here, and I will obviously clean that up. So this really is the end of the video now. Uh, I keep adding bits to it <laughs> because I think of things that may help and interest you guys. All right, really, that's it. Go away. <laughs>